Now what do we have here, Ray? I, uh, I gotten tired of switching the blades back and forth. And my blade isn't long enough, doesn't cut deep enough for me to cut. The one angle up here on the, that stuff in the very front corner up there, right there. Yeah, that's going to be difficult because it's welded. It welded up the side, across, back up, and then it's welded on the bottom. So it's literally welded on five spots or something like that. And then you got the upright and stuff. So how about this? I use my rewards cards. Zoom back out. Why Makita? Well. They seem to have a little few more features than uh, the other ones I was looking at. And Amazon had a decent price on this. Most people wanted 180 bucks for it, and Amazon wanted 130. So, the first box I got was a Makita. Um, I actually bought some grinding discs to go with it. Oh, great. Oh, whatever bag tore itself open. I bought myself a bag of <clears throat> a box pack of five uh, seven inch stones which is the main reason I got this so I could stop changing grinders. And I got a pack of ten pack of blades. Now I bought the Makita ones just because I've never tried the Makita ones. And there you go. But the main event really is this box right here. I got myself a GA7021. Now I know it's not the, all the bells and whistles of someone who works with one for a living, but it's enough bells and whistles for me, for today at least. And it had the coolest, uh, what do you call it, guard. So I'm, I'm hoping that it'll go through all that rather easy. Oh, once again, a seven inch grinding stone. And hopefully I, I won't wear this one as badly as I did the other ones. It's got a hold handle and then your uh, tool adapter, which I take it. Huh. Let's see here. Can't unscrew it. it it's locked in place by that little piece of metal right there. So hopefully it, it's set at the right, you know, looseness to just slide over it. I got something else here. Oh, got the wrench to open and close it. Owner's manual, warranty, and the main event. Let's see how big she is. Oh, lordy. And, lo and behold, that was what I was looking for. Let's see where the hold is. And lock her down in the wrench has a slight offset in it and it looks like it's already set up for uh, I gotta take this off but we're definitely going to need the quick attack all right can you see where we're focused on y'all see where I'm working at because I got a feeling I keep picking this thing up out of the height <laughs> the camera all right, and I have my little, all my stuff set. I was sitting in the house waiting for the uh, Amazon thing to say the uh, email to arrive and say this has been delivered, and I stepped outside after I finished eating, and lo and behold, there she is. All right, so what do we got here? Sonder. All right, so... It says it only goes on this one way. There's a stop. And unfortunately, there's a stop right there. All right, well that keeps it, limits it from going that way. That limits it from going that way. Now I gotta adjust the nut on that. 
because clearly that is not enough. But I think the nut is going to be a uh, um, need adjustment too. No. All right, there you go. Just squeeze it a little. I was wondering how you take this off. All right. There you go. Let's flip her on around and see if I have it in the right spot. Not quite enough. Hey, lady. My little kitten cat likes to come out here and hang out with me sometimes. And uh, I'm going to try to squeeze this down in there. No. Alright, that's totally loose. Much like the women I fancy. Uh, don't tell nobody I said that. And it's still kind of just skating on around on our own. I think we're good to go though. I'm going to give that a shot and try. We're going to run it like that. We're going to see how she does. I'm going to run it with the six. Apparently, that's a 7 8 inch bore. It says it's 5 8 11. There you go. That fit perfectly. One side does not have it. The other side does. And you have no idea how many people I've gone and found I had that thing put on there wrong. All right. Chugga, chugga. All right. So what do we got? I gotta turn this over. Figure out where I gotta push this. There you go. Push it down. There you go. <clears throat> now this didn't have all the fancy bells and whistles of what I wanted. Um, but it did say, let's see how the trigger runs. It has a trigger lock. All right. So I can turn the trigger on. You gotta push that forward anyway to get the switch go down, which is probably for the best. Probably gonna get annoying. And I'm right-handed, so I want this. Come around here. Probably sit there like that. And then I want the other the handle. Just fell to the ground. Once you put this all together, it's kind of heavy, as these things are. And y'all probably can't see what I'm doing. So there you go. Now, supposedly, I can take this apart and rotate the handle. And while this thing has all these smudges on it that quick already from touching my trailer, I don't know. And this trailer is rather old. I don't see the reason for that to be doing what it's doing. All right, I'm gonna pull this pin back so I can get the grinder in there. And I'm gonna pull this one back over here too. Sonder. I seem to be having an episode of Sonder. Anyhow, that's the uh, opening and assembly of my new Makita 7-inch angle grinder. Let's hope this does the job, folks.